Now, the Tories received a drubbing at the local and mayoral elections. It was a complete car crash. The biggest blow probably losing Andrew Street in the West Midlands to Labour. Sadiq Khan became London mayor for an historic third term, winning 43.8% of the vote. It's Londoners who inspire me every day to continue our mission of building a fairer, safer and greener London. And in what I hope will be a year of great change, a future Labour government led by Keir Starmer working with us in City Hall will mean we can go much further and accomplish so much more. Well, his closest rival was Conservative candidate Susan Hall, who secured 32.7 per cent. Being a year campaigning for this election has been an honour and a privilege. I have loved speaking to Londoners about the things that matter to them. The thing that matters to them most, and to me, is reforming the Met and making London safe again. I hope Sadiq makes this his top priority. She also pointed out that she would hold him to account and that she was right to point this out and she will continue to do that. Somebody has to do it. After all, knife crime, violent crime and burglaries have skyrocketed under him. The Metropolitan Police, which is part of his role, he oversees them, has also had many disgraceful um, occasions. His launching of ULES in outer London has proved to be incredibly unpopular and has even had to change his marketing campaign after people complained when a photo of white people in the capital was earmarked as not representing real Londoners. After Susan's speech yesterday, Mayor Khan snubbed her when she tried to shake his hand. Whilst I'm not really a fan of Sadiq, and that is based on his performance as London Mayor, there is no need for bad manners. It smacks of childishness in a city that has been falling apart under his tenure for years. Lee Anderson didn't mince his words. Well, I've got to be careful uh, what I say about the, the Labour mayor. I don't want to give him too much of a hard time. He's absolutely useless. He's been a disaster for this country. He's been a disaster for London. And he needs booting out of the next mayor election in four years' time. He's an absolute disaster for our capital city. And you'll see over the next four years what he does to that city. He'll rob the motorist blind, knife crime will go up, violent crime will go up, and he'll be sneering away in his ivory tower. And I will keep calling him out. So while some might dismiss Sadiq's initial snubbing of Susan Hall's handshake, I see it as representing a greater problem. How can he expect cohesion in our great capital if he cannot even lead by example and extend the hand of peace to his rival and set a good example to Londoners, a city that is divided more than ever? Grow up, Sadiq. Right, let's get started. Let's welcome again to my panel uh, broadcaster and journalist Danny Kelly and also author and broadcaster Christine Hamilton. Right, so let's uh, who we start. I'm going to start with you, Christine Hamilton. You're, yes. So what do you think? Did you watch any of the, the elections or listen to any of the mayoral elections and the local elections? Uh, not a lot. I've sort of slightly turned off politics. It's like the vast majority of the population, it seems. I mean, the biggest winner in this council elections were the don't cares and the don't knows, mm. the people who didn't turn out. And they, in particularly on the Tory side, are the ones who handed the result. Uh, it, it's astonishing. I mean, I can't remember exactly what it was, 30-something percent. I mean, that is... It's really low, isn't it? 29% When you look percent, back at how people have fought and died for the vote, for heaven's sake, and people cannot be bothered... I think a lot of people... This can't be the case in London, but, I mean, it clearly is. Um, a lot of people don't realise how local government impacts on their lives. They think mm. it's not important. They don't realise how much of their money is spent by local government. I do think the Tories... I mean, to me, it's utterly astonishing that Khan has got a third. I mean, his record is so appalling. How can anybody vote for him? Uh, but, on the other hand, I don't think the Tories had their heart and soul in it. And... Susan Hall was a very nice lady and she worked incredibly hard, but she's not exactly charismatic. And I think if we'd had... I mean, look who the Tories did have as London mayor and what was his big plus. He was charismatic. That was Boris. I think they needed a, a somebody who could strike through and hit through the wall a bit more. Um, sorry, that's a, probably an aggressive thing. Which what, hit through the wall anymore? Say, but you know no, when I you mean. say that, I'm thinking about Boris on that, that, oh, on that, that thing, tractor yes. with the, <laughs> the Brexit tractor. I, <laughs> that's I, that's hit thought. through the wall. I don't think the Tories, there were so many blows they could have had at Labour, and I just don't think they fought through, I'm afraid. Khan can't be that bad. He's been re-elected for the well, third time. Well, that's the point, isn't it? You know, I'm not a Londoner. I, I wouldn't want to live in London, but he can't be that bad. Londoners have, have elected him once again. Just going back to the little video... But why? 
Well, you'll have to ask the people who voted yeah, for him. Well, well I, I don't know. But going back to the video of, of Khan snubbing Susan Hall, mm. if you actually pay attention, Susan Hall is the one that snubs somebody else. So to the right of Susan Hall, you've got this really tall fella, candidate, mm. I don't know who he is, and he actually shakes Khan's hand. And Khan, to be fair, if you're objective with mm. this, Khan isn't looking at Susan Hall's hand. He's looking towards the, the audience. So Susan Hall is standing on his periphery. He doesn't see his uh, her hand. You don't think he sees her? I don't think he sees well, her, I to be fair with, to the I, lad. Do you I think think he's Genuinely, to be fair to the lad, I wouldn't have voted for him, but I want to be fair. And then Susan Hall is actually touched on the arm by this guy who wants to... And she's the one who leaves the other lad hanging. And, and that's what... Do you, did, is that what you see? Uh, that's what I saw. Ah. So, so Khan doesn't see Susan Hall. Khan sees Susan Hall, gives her a, a limp-wristed, half-hearted handshake, and then this other lad comes in, well, shakes Khan's hand. And to be fair to him, he does eventually shake a hand. But, but... It didn't take him... I agree with Danny. I don't think he saw her initial hand. Oh, I it, think it was. No, I don't did any of you see the, um, the sort of London Mail sort of hustings on the BBC? No. no, I didn't. Well, if you'd seen that, you might take a different view. Um, oh, they hate each other. Oh, uh, yeah. But if you yeah. if you saw that, then you could see the sort of the the dynamics between the two. And I think if you saw that, you might take a different but view. He's, he's, I think he did. Snub Winston her. Churchill once said, "In defeat, defiance; in victory, magnanimity." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Khan was yeah. not magnanimous. Well, exactly. Nor, yeah, but nor was Susan was, Hall. I, Susan Hall should have been gracious in defeat, but she couldn't she was resist. Gracious in defeat. She I think she was. Goes, Why she would she not? It, it, basically, she said that knife crime is a problem. It has. Yes, I know. But truth. she's she's been defeated, she and now is the opportunity to be magnanimous. She said, I, mean, I think, she, said I think she was right. Enough. She was fair. She said she will hold him to account. Yes. yes. That is her job. Yes. And she said, just because she's not one, that's what she's saying, is just because I haven't won, I'm still going to carry on doing my job. I will still, I Correct. love this city, I will still hold you to but account. that wasn't the occasion for it. Yes, it was. I know well, I disagree. What other, what other now, occasion Andy's, should it be? And, Well, she's had the previous four years to do it. Andy Street... Mean, no, 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 she hasn't. It. She's gone for if, the... If you, heard, if you heard Andy Street's magnanimous speech in defeat, where he was so gracious and warmly applauded the Labour guy. That's how you do it. He didn't say, I'm going to make sure that knife crime drops in Birmingham yes, and but, Coventry. Yes, but, but Andy Street has had a very good record in the job that he's done. So uh, where he is, he has made a really positive impact. If you look at Sadiq Khan's record, you, the same cannot be said. So what she's saying is, just because you've got this role doesn't mean that I'm going to stop doing my job and holding you to account. And I think a lot of Londoners who would have liked her to get in are very pleased that she's there to hold him to I account. I think she should have been gracious in that the is gracious. And she I wasn't. Think that, is gracious. that is gracious. I think he was I, ungracious by not shaking her I hand. think you're making a mountain out of a molehill. I mean, I, I think what she said... She you're was, quite right. Fair. Magnanimous in defeat, of course. And what she said, I thought, was fine. What's wrong with saying I'm going to hold your feet to the fire? She should say congratulations, Mr Khan. We've had our disagreements over the last six months with the hustings. I wish you all the best, but please so remember... So she should be Disingenuous. Oh, well, look, okay, come on, this I, is I, a look, big chance. I don't Everybody's think you should be disingenuous. I think you should be honest. So, why did she say, Well done to him then? What's, what are you saying? She said, well done to him. She said, well so done. So what's wrong with that? That's magnanimous. So, so, just so said, what, so what are you saying? Are you but, saying that now so she's part magnanimous? Of, part of being magnanimous would be her so saying, that's not congratulations, Mr Khan. What's, what is, what, what's the difference between well, well done, done and congratulations? So, so we agree. She should have... She, if she's going to say she's well all, done, no, we don't she should have said She's already said well done, and then she said what she would do. Part of her speech should have been congratulations. So you think she should just, like, sugarcoat everything on the top and just be super sweet and sexy nice? I think she should have congratulated him. She did. She said, well done, as you even said yourself. That was in private. It, when she was trying to grab his hand. Oh. Part of the speech should have been congratulations. I don't think so. Do I think she's right in what she said. You're dancing around on the head of a pin. No, but that's what he wouldn't talking, be able to. I the, might be able oh. to. <laughs> that's what the talking point is about. It's about whether, whether, whether she was snubbed. No, but I, the, she was the difference snubbed. between well done and congratulations. I mean, come and on. I think, listen, it is, I know only too well how awful it is to stand up there when you've lost. And my heart goes it's out really to Andy hard. Street, actually, because mm -hmm. he, I think, has been a thunderingly good mayor, like Andy exactly. Burnham has, too. They both deserve to win. Go, so it's go watch very... Andy Street's speech. Yes, but and that's that will the show point. you how you should have done it. No, but if somebody's done a woeful job in the, in the role and only his record is what we're judging by, then I think Susanna was been absolutely. Then? Because people, it's what, a democracy. It, well, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to call people names like um, West Streeting, who called people who voted You're for Suzanne Hall. Well, no, I'm just saying I'm not going to call people names who voted for Zeke Khan like West Streeting, who called uh, people who voted for him white supremacists, which I think no, is amazing. No, voted for Susan Hall, not Zeke yeah. Khan. That's what I said, Susan okay, Hall. Put it the other way Did around. Get a, well, anyway, Never that's mind. It's because Danny keeps interrupting you. I'm trying to finish <laughs> what I'm saying. Be quiet. It's a dialogue. Just be quiet. <laughs> All right. Is it, what do you mean? It's a dialogue. I speak, you listen. That's uh, how it works. <laughs> right.